All right, guys, Hayes here. In this video, I'm going to show you a few Shootborn Heaven spots that I found on streets. This might help you uh, to sort of overcome this task because obviously there is a lot of loot spots inside of buildings. Streets is quite a big map, but there's a lot of spots inside of buildings that are quite hard to get 125 meter angles on. There's a lot of like sort of 50 to maybe even just under 100 meters um, sort of angles. And even then, there might not be any players coming through that area. So it's hard to, to find these angles, but hopefully these help. As always, I do stream on Twitch from about 10 a.m. GMT time, UK time, um, most days. So just come hang out, give it a follow. It's just right here. Type it in your browser. You should be good to go. So on streets, um, the first spot I'm going to show you is uh, really close to the, the catacombs extract, the scav extract, and also the, uh, the sewer extract down here. Um, obviously, you know, you can spawn in the back of the store here. If you spawn here or like anywhere near here, what you can do is you can hop on top of this tram here. Maybe from here, hop on top, run across it here, and you have really good lines of sight. I mean, you can hide yourself from the right side here if you want to and kind of focus on this left side. You have good lines of sight down the, the road here towards a cinema. The cinema's down here. If I press seven here to get out of my rangefinder, uh, this sort of barrier here is 121 meters. Anyone that goes past that barrier will no longer be a shoot one heaven kill. So got to make sure that you catch them before they get towards that barrier here. But generally, I want to find I, I, I want to say that they'll be on the on this side of the road. So on your right side, on their left side, coming down this side of the road uh, from the spot. There's quite a few spawns underneath the cinema here. There's one uh, behind the cinema in the shop. Uh, and then there's a few uh, along sort of past there, past the, across towards the sort of the taxi extract, right? Uh, and they might come down here to get like a quest done, maybe over here in this building or to get into the store here as a task to get into the store. Just be vigilant when you're up on here because obviously, you know, you can get shot from spotted and you can also hop onto here and then you have another angle. You can even prone as well, which is great. You can prone so you get uh, really good sort of um, stamina on your arms. Like it's, it, it doesn't drain much at all. But what's good is you can hide yourself, kind of hide yourself from this left side here. You can see all the way down here. You've got that that open sort of open back truck with with decent loot in there, there's boxes, all that stuff. There's also a key a key room in there as well, which is quite cool. Um, you can find players running down the left side of this road here as well, towards the the store, the, uh, the little sort of cafe here. Just to note that around about sort of uh, that dumpster there, that green dumpster, uh, just past the past the cafe, um, around sort of between the dumpster and the light here is where they kind of go out of the range of shoot upon heaven so 125 meters the tram's 117 so just past the tram you should be good it's honestly one of the best the best angles off of spawn if you're if you spawn around here sort of in the store uh, or even i think you get a spawn sometimes uh in the catacombs extract over here that is my first spot it's quite a nice little spot sort of sit and wait for maybe i don't know three or four minutes during the start of the raid maybe even longer depends on how you want how long you want to stay for so another spot that i have um not really one of the best ones but it might work out just for the moment um you're up at the, the cinema here with the uh, lexus garage over there and like you can spawn down here at uh like the this part over there but what you can do is you can jump over there's parts of grass just over here now what i want you to do is look to the right here down this angle and you've got the same road. You see that tram where we were on, on, on the first tip? The tram's just down there at 200 meters, 203. You can see all the way down this road, which is great for the opposite angle. So if if you spawn on this side of the, of the angle, then you can obviously snipe back down towards it. So up until about maybe this, this kind of this... Uh, this barrier here is probably about 125-ish around there. So if I change my gun, this barrier right here, if you're if you're in this vision, if, if if they go past this barrier here, you probably don't have a 125 meter headshot. So just make sure you catch them before they come past there. All right. So just a, just a quick little spot. I mean, you can do it if you're standing up here. If you're just here, you can probably just stand here and kind of catch them maybe. Um, but this it's kind of a bit more secluded. You don't really get seen too much. Uh, your lower profile and that stuff, it's quite nice. So the next spot, uh, kind of in the same area as the last one, next to the, the cinema here. Um, we're up top on the platform. What you want to do is you want to run down here. Now you, it might be quite obvious where we're going to, but run down here, get some distance, and then uh, just look down this, this road here. 
a lot of players tend to sort of run down this road, check for taxi. Taxi is just over there. The 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 um, VX extract. Also, there's an extract just down here as well that is sometimes open. There's also a quest. I think a quest here too. You might have players running down this down this road. I think up until that red car there might or like that. Yeah, ar around that red car might be around the 125 ish. So, yeah, I mean, around that car, give or take 120 to that car. So take that as a reference to how close you want to let them get to you uh, before, you know, it, 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 it won't count. So obviously it depends on the weather. This is quite foggy. Sometimes you get some pretty good weather, but uh, either way, it's, it's not too bad. It's not a bad little spot. Um, if you're around this area as well, I'm kind of set up here for a bit wait for a bit maybe sort of maybe later on in the raid because obviously players won't be going for extracts too early if you spawn over here you might spawn um in this shop here on the left so you can probably just come up here check real quick or hang around or if you're here at, you know sort of mid raid so if you spawn uh on this side of the map um what you want to do and what I, what I would usually do honestly is to go to the sky bridge sky bridge apartment to get a like an angle down onto sort of uh, the sparger store in the pinewood hotel or whatever you want to get the key though first off the key is a guaranteed spawn on this map every single raid so if you spawn around this area or are around this area head towards the brodian pub the bar go in the bar all right in the front or in the back you can go in the back as well the key should spawn right here okay every single time it spawns right here i've checked this every time and it's always been here obviously you know if someone's taken it then it's obviously not gonna be there but now you want to head over to skybridge so skybridge is just up here it's just uh this this part up here and the the room you want to get into is this room up here this well this this apartment up there so uh here's the skybridge you cross over here. There's obviously, I mean, some pretty good angles anyway from the Skybridge area. You can obviously grab some kills from this area as well. I mean, if we look at the, the distance here, if we look at the uh, the distance on this, if these wouldn't pop in and out, it'd be great. So from here towards the Sparza store is 130 at the, at the front there, which is quite nice. Either way, crouch down, get an angle through here potentially. Just try and get angles. There's, there, there's ways. There's ways of getting angles here. The key is for this door... This is also a quest key as well. So again, quite quite easy to find, as I said. Go in here. And then you can go to this balcony. You can also actually smash the glass. So you can also smash the glass here and then head onto the balcony here. And you've got quite nice lines of sight down the road. Really nice lines of sight down the road. Obviously, you can't stay here forever because this is risky. You know, you've got scavs all around here. Your scavs in the middle of the road here. Scavs on the left there. Uh, and player scalpers, obviously, players around. Uh, you might even, you know, <laughs> being up here, you might give someone else a shoot one heaven shot. So um, I'd watch out for that. Obviously, you can see like the uh, sort of all the way down the street here. I, I think obviously up to like the, I guess, just past that tram really is where you want to be in terms of a shoot one heaven shot. I've had a, my shot uh, on a guy over in this park area here, uh, just, just sort of to the left of the road. On the left side of the road there i've had a, a shot from there um and i imagine you can probably get a shot down towards the the spars store down there um there's also a window in here which is a much easier angle but again still it's it's only 100 from there to there 120 over to there it's again it's not the best but the the main angle i think honestly is from the balcony here down down the road or at least down here over there 140 over there and even i mean potentially get shots down on the street down here on the right side of the uh, street going down towards the sewer extract as well but also again as i said from you know you don't need the key really you can just go up to here and get eyes on the the sparger store down here not bad little spot, obviously. Again, this is a very contested area, so I wouldn't really stay here for too long. Uh, maybe, honestly, early raid, potentially, or late raid. But then late raid, you've got scav players coming. It's it's really risky. So it's one of the high high sort of high traffic areas that you probably wouldn't want to go to. Um, but it is it is here. It is worth, worth checking if you can't find another spot to go to. Now, there's one really crazy spot that I've just found that I'm actually... I don't know if this is like a glitch or whatever. I don't think it is though, honestly. What you can do is, as you see here, there's a, there's a ledge right there. Obviously, this is, again, quite risky. What you want to do is get on this barrier. And then what you can do is 
simply sprint around. You'll break your legs. Make sure you got some splints. <laughs> but now you're on. And then... Jump up here. Across here. Obviously, I mean, there, there's a, a little spot here as well. I'll just, I'll just show you here. You can see down this hallway as well. So if, if there's someone like kind of below you lurking around this hallway, you can probably... Or, or holding this, this doorway here. If there's someone sort of like lurking around here from the sort of the skybridge stairs outside the stairs um like a scab player you can probably you can maybe jump off of here and try and uh, try and get a little angle here but what you can do you can just walk around here and then just hop on this little ledge you can keep going you have to keep jumping and then you turn around and you have a load of vision down this uh down this this long stretch of of road here this is quite a common road for the, the people run along here so what you can do is you can just keep going this way keep going as far as you want up until the sign the sniper sign there get under that little uh, little thing there as well then you can literally just sit right here all the way down here towards the the pharmacy that you know the pharmacy down down the down the right side there you've got the the, the truck here Depends on how far this is. The truck is 150. So you, yeah, on the truck as well. The tank's 150 over there. That's where people mark the tank as well, I think. Yeah, you've got a lot of vision down here. Uh, this is a pretty nice little spot. Also, just a really cheeky spot to camp, actually. <laughs> I'm not trying to give you camping spots, but actually it's not even a bad spot. I mean, you can even see down here. This could be even a, a spot down here. You can see through Pinewood. Um, towards where they jump in for the uh, for the sort of the dentist um, the back dentist jump in on the window there um, you even got like one well 110 towards that pillar over there which is kind of a, pr a pretty main thoroughfare depends obviously down over, over the, the road next to the the theater over there um, it's yeah this is a pretty damn good spot and I've just I've just kind of seen this I'm, I, I was curious it's actually insane this is actually kind of nuts and then what you want to do, uh, if, if you want to jump off, you can uh, drop down onto this bus bus stop here. And that should only really maybe break your legs. I'm not entirely sure. So obviously, Streets of Tarkov is a very uh, enclosed map. It, it, it seems like it would be a good long range map. But actually, there's a lot of loot and a lot of spots that are really sort of enclosed or hidden from trees or bushes or like cars that are hiding angles. And it's really hard to sort of uh, get some good angles. But I hope at least these angles that I've shown you help kind of like visualize what you need to do or, or like what angles you can take um or you know just take these ex exact angles i've just told you and uh, and put them to use also if you guys have any spots that you think are are good that i've missed put them in the comments below you know um people might find them useful as well if you guys enjoyed the video or you thought it helped feel free to leave a like i know that about 90 percent of people aren't actually subscribed to the channel as well they watch my videos so if you want to subscribe that'd be great and uh, yeah we'll see you in the next one guys thank you